thanks for joining us at Nelly Surplus. Today we'll show you how to create a DDNS account and then show you how to put your account into an IP camera. Before we begin, you'll want to open this URL in your browser. This is a no IP website where you can create a new account. Now what we're going to do is begin creating our no IP account. First you can pick a username and type it in the first line here. We chose Nelly Security. Then once you have a username, type in your password twice. The next field is going to be your email address. Make sure this is a valid email address because they will send you a confirmation email that activates the account. And right below your email address, you'll notice the host name. You might want to take note of that or write it down because we will be using that later. And once you're finished, scroll to the bottom and click the sign up button. Here you'll get a message confirming that a, an email is on the way with a link to activate the account. To begin, open up a web browser and type in an IP address of one of your IP cameras. Then press enter. It should bring up the login screen. Go ahead and log in with your username and password. Now once you've logged in, what we're going to need to do is click the Set or Setup tab at the upper right hand corner of the screen. Then you should see a menu on your left hand side. Let's go down to Network, click it, and then go down to DDNS and click that one. Now what we're going to do is go over to Server Type and select the drop down box. Now we need to select No IP DDNS. Here you'll see some fields are automatically filled in, such as server IP and port. The first one we need to concentrate on is the domain name. This is going to be the same as our host name that we set up while creating the no IP account. For example, the one that I created was nellysecurity.noip.org. Go ahead and input your domain name or host name there. Next is going to be the username. This can either be your email address or the username that you created while setting up the no IP account. And then input your password. And after you have your password put in, the next field is the update period. This is how often the IP camera sends the IP address. A 5 is usually a good default. Once you have that setting correct, uh, be sure and click the checkbox in the upper left hand corner to enable the service, and then click the save button towards the bottom. Here you can see we're going to input our host name into PSS. And as you can tell, we didn't need to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. This concludes our DDNS setup for IP cameras. Thanks for joining us at Nelly Surplus.